Education was the lifeblood of Mary G. O'Quinn, who I found out became a pupil teacher in her early teens, an accomplishment she immersed herself in fully, becoming an educator and changing the lives of many around her. Lots of her students today still remember her. She would take them under her wings. It's like she adopted them, especially at Five Island School where she was principal and Bendel School where she was principal. And even today, some of them are like her children. They're big men and women and they fondly remember her. Apart from being the dedicated educator she was, she authored several books inclusive of short stories and poems about her life and times. She has written nine books. Um, the first book was a religious book, All of the Women of the Bible. Um, Sugar Mill Gems, Lest We Forget, Patriotic Poems, Recollections, and that was um, supposed to be like a story that would outline the move of Winthrop's to New Winthrop's. Quinn's latest work called Holy Line was released when she was 85 years old and is one of her works that proudly pays tribute to the local Antiguan dialect. A lot of her dialogue has dialect because that is the realistic thing to do. Lots of people in Antigua talk dialect and so it is a very good book to show the use of standard English and dialect because it's not the whole book that is in dialect, it's only dialogue. The author's work also received international acclaim. Two of her poems have been put to music by Hollywood Artists um, Association um, and some of her poems have been published in international uh, publications such as the American Poetry Association, Watermark Press. Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown in a letter to the family says quote Mary G. O'Quinn was an iconic figure whose contribution to education and to the literature of Antigua and Barbuda has earned her a place among the literary of our nation. End quote. Mary G. O'Quinn was also called the nation's grand dame of poetry. Leon Norville reporting for ABS News.